The Pikeville City Commission recently held a meeting to discuss the implementation of auto modus camera technology into the streetlights. This will allow vehicles within the city to be monitored for parking violations and other types of data gathering. Mountaintop News spoke with Pikeville City engineer Brad Sloan to learn more. So Automotus is a company that uh, I think they started in Canada, but they're in uh, Los Angeles now. What they do is they use fixed location cameras that would be mounted to our streetlights. And those cameras have the capability of reading license plate numbers. And in our application, um, it would, each camera would monitor, say, five, six parking spaces. And it would track when a car parked in the space and then how long that car was there and it has a computer tied to it that would determine did that car while it was sitting there did it exceed our timed uh, limits or not and if it did exceed the time limit then um, th there's different ways it could work but it could either notify the police department or it potentially could even um, automatically prepare a ticket to be mailed out um, so that we can enforce our our time and spaces downtown cancer it's a very scary word. But an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center. As a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it the day, make it the day. This new technology could provide benefits to individuals and businesses alike. Open parking spaces could be made known to anyone looking to park at their favorite downtown shop or restaurant. If somebody parks in a single parking spot for extended periods of time, and you know, from, uh, from for example, they gave us somebody that lives downtown and they park in that downtown parking spot in front of a business for, for the whole day, then that has a dramatic impact on our downtown businesses. It, it really hurts their, their revenue. So just from a neighborly standpoint, I'd, I'd encourage everybody to, you know, do what they need to do and then and keep moving. Don't, uh, don't just park there and, and take up the space when you're, you know, it could be put to a better use. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.